Hi everyone, it's me, Sydney. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. I know I've been gone for a long time, and just a lot has been happening. Uh, life stuff, busy with work, been reading a lot, like a lot, a lot, so many good books. And then I got sick, uh, Miss She Who Shall Not Be Named, who were in 2020, got to me. Um, but I'm back, and I have a recent pickups video of a lot of the stuff that I've gotten over the past few weeks. So first we're going to start off with the anime I got. I only got two things recently, and the first one would be My Hero Academia Season 4 Part 1. I've already watched this part of Season 4, but I like to own them. As you can see in my background, I have My Hero Academia all of the anime that's out so far. The second anime I got was Card Chapter Sakura Clear Card. Uh, I haven't watched this yet, but uh, the art is so pretty, and I'm a huge Card Chapter Sakura fan, so I'm excited to see how this one compares to the original series. Next, we have the only sort of manga ish thing that I bought. It's a graphic novel, so, uh, I think it's a man manhwa, and that would be The Abandoned Empress. It's so beautiful. Like, like, look at that art. It's in color and everything. I've been reading a lot of webtoons lately. Uh, some of my favorites are The Remarried Empress. So good. My Another one is My Four Tyrant Brothers. Oh, it's so cute. I love the ones where women are um, isekai'd into another world, um, and they're they are the villainesses. I like that. I also like where it's a little kid and they have to like deal with family situations. Those are really cute. And then I also like where a woman she's tragically killed and then sent back in time, and she has to like. Uh, get like not she doesn't have to but she chooses to, like get revenge and not wind up in the bad situation again those are my favorite types of um web comics next up we have some of the movies that i have picked up so first we have the secret of moonacre i got this as a gift for easter didn't know i was gonna get it but i love this movie it's something i saw like, years and years ago uh, my sibling showed it to me and I just, it's so, like, royal princess core aesthetic, and it's just such a cute story. The next thing I got was also something I got for Easter, which is Paradise Hills. I really enjoyed this movie, not just because I love Mila Jovovich, but because of the scenery, the, the set design, the costumes, all of that, and the story as well, were so good in this movie. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's on like Netflix or Hulu or something. Next, I picked up some things from Walmart because they're just like in their $5 bin. I got The Hunt, which is a hilarious movie. Uh, these people are being hunted for sport. It's so funny. Not people being hunted for sport, but the movie itself was funny. I got Knives Out, which is a murder mystery. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare. I got Love and Monsters, which is like a post-apocalyptic kind of monster movie. And I got The Meg, which is a shark movie. I, for some reason, really enjoy the shark movies. Like, I loved The Meg, 47 Meters Down, both the first and the second one. Not a big fan of Jaws, though. And for, I believe, Knives Out, you can watch that one on Amazon Prime. For Love and Monsters, I believe that one's on Hulu, and I believe The Hunt is on HBO Max. So if you have any of those streaming services, you can check them out. They're all really good movies. And then the last movie TV show thing I got was the final part of Lost Girl, uh, seasons 5 and 6. So now I have all of Lost Girl, and I am so happy about that. Uh, I love this series. Like, if you saw one of my previous hauls where I got the uh, first four seasons, you'll know just how much I love that show. Next up, we have some of the books that I've picked up. The first one would be 
Electra. This is the Barnes and Noble book club edition. So I think this one has an extra chapter in it, um, like a deleted scene kind of thing. It's so pretty, this book. Um, if you look right here, there's like a little embossing. And this is by Jennifer Saint. She's the author of the book Ariadne. I think I hauled that in another video as well. I love Greek mythology books, so I'm kind of trying to make myself a Greek mythology bookshelf with all sorts of Greek mythology, like Percy Jackson and um, Song of Achilles. I have yet to get that, but I am looking for like the perfect copy of that, or perfect edition of that one. Next, I got Skin of the Sea. Uh, this was just honestly a cover buy for me. Like, look at that. She, this cover is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I'm not actually sure what this one's about, but yeah, I just, the cover alone was like, Sydney, you have to get this. And last but not least was the Barnes Noble exclusive edition of King of Battle and Blood by Scarlett Sinclair. I believe this also has an extra chapter in it. Um, I, the only time I get books off Barnes Nobles is when they're the exclusive editions because I, because a lot of times they have like special chapters or special covers or in papers or something like that. I really like special edition books. They just, they, they always have something super great about them. All right. Last but not least, we have some miscellaneous things that I've picked up. First would be this art print by Linen Artwork. It's Sailor Moon and look at it. It's so gorgeous. Linen Artwork is on Instagram. I saw this um, as a highlight on somebody else's page and I was like oh my god I have to get that it's so beautiful they're in formal wear and it has the sailor starlights and all of the sailor scouts which is actually very rare sometimes to get in prints like they don't they either don't have sailor the sailor starlights or they don't have um sailor saturn so that one was like an auto buy I didn't even think about it I just bought it next we have this thing that I've been wanting to get for forever the hex girls funko pops I'm not really a Funko Pop person, which you will not believe if you look at my room tour, which is coming up in the future. But a lot of the stuff, like the discreet stuff that I like, like Hex Girls, Bakugan, um, Digimon, stuff like that, they have been getting Funko Pops recently. So I'm like, well, there's nothing else for me to get for them. So I should definitely get the Funko Pops. Like, and I love the Hex Girls on Scooby-Doo. They were my favorite part of Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost was my favorite Scooby-Doo movie. I just, I love the Hex Girl so much. Uh, comment down below, let me know who your favorite Hex Girl is. Mine is probably Thorn. Yeah, probably Thorn, the front girl, the one in red. Then we have some diamond art paintings that I got. I have recently gotten into that diamond art painting. So um, I, when I saw there was an artist that I really, really liked, that had diamond art paintings done. Roy Trin, I follow him on, I follow his art on Instagram. I'll link his Instagram down below. Um, I was like, yeah, okay, I have to get this. I have to get these diamond arts. Um, so here they are. They are the Zodiac Witches. Um, here is the Leo one. And this is what the full box looks like. I know it's really big. You can't really see very much, but yeah, this is the Leo one. I am not a Leo, but th this one was so beautiful, I could not resist. Same with this one, which is the Libra. Yeah, I'm not a Libra, but look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now, the other three I did get from this collection, they were ones that are my zodiac signs. I got my sun, my moon, and my rising. So first up, we have my Gemini sun sign, and isn't she just like the most beautiful thing? Sorry, I'm trying to make it so you can see it better. I may put in a um, screenshot from the Diamond Art Painting website so you can see them a little bit clearer. Then we have my Scorpio moon sign. She is so pretty. And I like that quite a few of them that I got have purple in them. Purple is like my favorite color right now. And then I got my 
rising sign, which is Cancer. And she looks so cute and innocent. So cute. All right, everybody. That was everything that I got within the last few months. Um, if you saw anything you're interested in and want to know, like, where to get it, just uh, comment below and I'll, I'll let you know. Um, thank you so much for watching this. So, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Um, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully that is going to be a room tour coming out in a week or two. Uh, so I'll see you then. Bye.